Hello lad buddies, it's mailbag time again. Let's see what we got. So we're thinking about having a name for the people which watch my videos. Apart from really, really cool people. So, lad buddies is the thing I've come up with. Is it relevant? Maybe for this, maybe, I don't know. But if you've got another name you think might be suitable for people which watch my videos, Deffers, Pommies, those are things I've thought of anyway. But I think lad buddies is the one which fits better. It's a bit more generalized and it's not too I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, but yeah. So that buddies is one I thought of, and that's what I'm gonna go with for now. But if you've got a better name, please let me know. So these are some TFT displays, concerningly badly packed. Yeah. One layer of bubble wrap. I really hope these aren't damaged. 3.5 inch TFT modules, which you've got touch as well. Let's open one up while I check it all, make sure it look okay. So we've got a built-in SD card slot as well. As you can see there's all the touch pins and stuff so this is touch over here you don't have to use that if you're not using touch and this is all the SPI and, and interfacing here for the actual display. Now I've used these on a couple of projects and uh, they work really well. They work very nicely indeed so I just want to make sure these aren't cracked or something from the bad packaging. Just peel this off. Normally I don't do this. Yep, it looks good. At least it appears to be, there's no obvious cracks. I'll have to do the same thing for all of them, make sure they're all right. Yeah, these are good displays. Um, I'll chuck a link in as well. So yeah, these are really nice displays, they're pretty quick. The touch function's really good. You don't have to use a stylus, you can use your fingernail. There's libraries for it on Arduino and stuff like that, so these are actually not too bad. I think they're about $20 each, something like that, I think they were. But they're really good, because it means you don't have to have any buttons and stuff like that. You can just use a touch display and you can just touch it and use menu systems and stuff on the display much better than having touch and encoders and stuff like that sometimes. Sometimes those are better. If you want to keep the product simple, then use the touch screen. Why not? Okay, this display is cracked. You can see it clearly there. Obviously this one didn't survive. The other three looked okay. This one didn't. So I'm going to raise a dispute and uh, get them to send me another one or perhaps get a refund. That's kind of why I'm checking them all, because the packaging wasn't up to standard. So yeah, we'll chuck links down below for these, but it's a shame that this one's broken. I mean, I did see other comments from other people when I purchased these saying theirs might have arrived broken too. You know, I saw someone else, at least one other comment saying it's cracked because it wasn't packaged properly. I bought some previously, I didn't have any problems, so I bought some more from the same person. Obviously this time I wasn't quite so lucky. Bit of a shame. Anyway, so I've raised the dispute, I'll get the money back on that one. Anyway, these things use a ILI9488 display driver, it's a SPI bus and touch, and it's a 320 by 480 display. So these are nice displays, but I don't know why I've broken. Thumbs up, subscribe. So this box here which I already opened, this has got some enclosures in it. I've got this one here which is slightly smaller. This one's a solid extrusion, so it's got the end plate to go on. Like this, it's this type. And I've also got this other type which is a split in box. It's actually two pieces, it comes out quite big. And it's also got new plates for that as well. So I've got a few of those, well a couple of each I think I've got. Now, I can actually show you one built, because I did my project recently. And here's the other one. So that's that one which is completely assembled obviously, this is my voltage divider project. This is the final revision, I believe it is anyway, <laughs> I'm not planning on doing any more revisions. This is the 4 ratio divider version, so you can choose the ratio you want between 10 to 1 and 10,000 to 1. It works alright, I've done a video on this, make sure you check that out on my other channel. So dimension wise, let's get a ruler, let's have a look, I'm going to do it in centimetres because that's what I use. So that's basically just over 11 centimetres, internal dimension would be 11 in that direction, in this direction is about five centimeters internal maybe just under five 53 mil outside something like that and in this dimension it is about 83 outside so i think it's about 78 or 79 inside something like that nice quality boxes it's pretty good so it links for that one and this other one i'll give you dimensions to this one too i suppose keep it all consistent so 65 millimeters there and that is about 60 inside in this dimension it is 50 outside and about 45 inside and this dimension is 10 centimeters. Not bad boxes. Nicely packaged. Lots of padding stuff so they don't get damaged, you know. You can see all the packaging in here. Obviously, it comes with all the screws and stuff, it's all in there too. Good boxes. I like it. There's a whole bunch of potentiometers. I can't say pot in case YouTube thinks it's all about something else. So, we've got some single gang with a switch on the back. Pretty small size. Oh, good, there are nuts in there. I was worried about not being on there. So, the other thing we've got here is a 20mm 50k pot. Bunch of those. 20mm 20k pot, bunch of those. 20mm 100k pot, bunch of those. Not particularly exciting, you know, just parts, aren't they? I'm stocking up because I've got a whole bunch of CBs to fix and they've got dodgy knobs on the front. 
the pots are broken or rusted or stuff because they've got flood damaged and I'll skin selection of bits and pieces I might need to do those repairs once I get around to it. Oh, here's some more pots. So these ones are 25k dual gang pots, which makes them slightly different. And they've got a centre detent as well. So not all pots have this, but this actually, as you get to the centre, actually got like a detent which locks in, which gives you a centre position, which is like a balance control basically. That's what these are, balance controls. But I can use these for other things, like clarifier controls, because sometimes you want a centre detent on a clarifier control. Yeah, handy. Right, this is some um, very small tape. Not particularly well round tape either. See, it's got these gaps in it. And the actual centre spool is like falling out. So, hmm, not good. It's just really fine tape. I think it's about 2mm wide. I purchased this thinking I might need it for um, some repairs I was doing. I've now completed that repair because this took so long to arrive. This is actually supposed to hold down those little dome buttons I've been buying. You know, you've probably seen them, those dome buttons. I've featured them a few times now. And so when you mount them on the board, you have to tape them down usually and you can put this tape across the dome buttons and it just um, means it's not affecting the membrane keyboard which is over the top as well which sticks down too but uses to hold down the, the dome buttons put the membrane over the top well, that's the plan anyway but now I've done that job I might use something one day here's another thing I've already opened because I need it desperately I purchased two of these so this is a bit of a mixture of two kits actually <laughs> left over a bit shoved in so it's just a uh, electric door motor Door lock motor for vehicles. It's supposed to be kind of stuck on here. It's supposed to be like that. Um, this is like an off, obviously an aftermarket one, but I don't know if any factory ones might be, you know, OEM ones might be the same. I don't actually know. Maybe they are. Use these on central locking systems on cars, and this is actually a 24 volt one. Although it's a 24 volt sticker put over a 12 volt marking, which made me a little bit suspicious. Maybe they're 12 volt ones. <laughs> um, and on my motorhome, I had some similar ones. It died. It started, well, it didn't die, it's still working, but it actually, when it go in and lock, it would jam internally. It'd actually latch up, and you couldn't actually pull it back out very easily. You had to force it, and it'd come back out. A little bit inconvenient when you get locked out. Anyway, purchased two, so I've got a spare for next time. Um, they come with these mechanical hardware kits as well, so you've got the rod which you stick on, the mounting bracket. Um, obviously, these two here from the other kit, because I didn't need these, because I already had it all installed. All I have to do is replace the boat itself. And also the hardware sit here as well, same deal. So in here we've got a little strap which goes around the bars. Most cars will have a metal bar which links the lock mechanisms together. And you just put that around the metal bar and lock it down. And then you use one of these bars between the motor and that to move it. Not too exciting really. Maybe no one's ever seen that and got no experience with it. So maybe you find it interesting. Maybe. So remember to subscribe, click the bell icon, that sort of stuff. If you uh, like the video, give us a thumbs up as well. Help support the channel. Here's some big heat sinks. I purchased these for a Raspberry Pi. Nice big heat sinks. I wanted some more of these. I've only got some smaller ones, and I thought oh, I'll get some big ones because sometimes you want a big heat sink, not a little heat sink. Yeah, Self adhesive tape on there already. Thermal tape. So these are meant for Raspberry Pis anyway, but uh, I've got four of those I think. Let me know what you think about the whole Lab Buddies naming for the people which support my channel. I'm trying to think of some gimmicky thing, I suppose. So this is a flex for a iPhone 6. So this is an Apple original one. So this is out of a used, or also used cable out of another phone, also salvaged. And it's the volume buttons on the side here and the mute switch. On this particular phone, they're broken. The screen on this phone is also cracked. Well, the screen isn't cracked, but the protector is. It's got some liquid damage behind the screen. The screen is replacing too. They dropped it and it's broken, or the screws at the bottom and stuff like that. Anyway, it's all gone. But yeah, the, those buttons are broken on it because it's got liquid damage. I got this locally. I ordered this part from China four months ago, maybe five months ago now actually. It hasn't arrived. So then I ordered another one. That hasn't arrived either. And I managed to find this one locally. It's obviously a used part, but so what? At least it's Apple original. Means it's probably better actually. And it wasn't actually that much more expensive for a change. It was about five dollars more. If it had only been a couple of weeks, like it's supposed to have been, it would have been alright. But I've had this phone sitting here for ages because of that. I really need to give it back to them before Christmas. Thumbs up, subscribe. There's more videos at the end, the playlists you can see, which might interest you. Other things you might be interested in, so more mailbag videos, electronics repair, test gear, reviews, that sort of stuff. Go and check those out if you're interested. Don't forget the links down below for the other items which I've featured here. And for my affiliate links, just general affiliate links to go to Banggood, AliExpress, Amazon to my store on there as well, look at those items and purchase through there because that helps my channel because I get a commission on those things and it's very helpful to help you to buy things from our bag and keep you entertained.
Right, catch you next time. And um, yeah, I'll see you next one. Bye.